Hey guys and welcome to a new Pixelmator tutorial. Today we'll be going through a golden shiny skin effect which highlights the subject very well. Firstly, open up your desired image with Pixelmator. I already have my picture opened up right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this background layer and you'll get a copy of this. So, what we want to do essentially is change the background of our image. So we're going to go ahead and hit Command L or go into Image, Levels and get the gray up to around 60% depending on how dark or light your picture is. Once you're happy with the with your result, go ahead and click on OK. You'll notice that there's a slight dim effect. Go ahead into Image and go into Desaturate. Now we will increase the contrast by going into Image, Brightness and Contrast, and just change the contrast to 50%. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the original background layer. So we'll go ahead and duplicate that. Bring that all the way to the top of your layers. I think it's a good idea to rename your layers just in case you don't get confused. But for the sake of this tutorial, um, I won't really do that. But it's a good idea if you do. Now go ahead and apply a Gaussian Blur by going to Filter, Blur, Gaussian. And you will get a uh, radius of 10 pixels. Just leave it at default and go ahead and click OK. And then you can change the blending mode to Linear Light. Now select the Eraser tool and with a soft rounded brush go ahead and erase the area around the subject whilst you know leaving some radiance on the subject's face and a bit of the skin as well. So I'm going to select a larger brush size just, just so that I can get the job done faster. So I'll meet you guys once I've finished clearing the area around the subject. So as you can see I've more or less you know, cleared the area around the subject. Now what we can do is we can go back to the original layer go ahead and duplicate it and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and move it above all the layers now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and change the blending mode to hard light and this is just to increase visibility and just to make the image clearer so go ahead and repeat the same process use the eraser tool and clear the background one more time so I'll meet you guys again once the background is cleared so as you can see, I have cleared the background once again. So we're pretty much done with this background clearing part. Now we want to go ahead and duplicate the original layer one more time. The background layer, let's duplicate it. Bring it all the way to the top. And now what we essentially want to do is just select the skin and we basically want to do some glowing and adding some highlights to the skin. As after all, this is a glowing skin effect. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be selecting the face. However, in yours, uh, it'll be good if you can select the other parts of the skin, such as your arm or whatever is visible in your photo. So go ahead and select the Polygon Lasso tool or the Magic Wand tool. But I suggest using the Polygon Lasso tool just because you get a more accurate selection. So go ahead and select the part you want. So it's the skin. And I'll just skip through this part and meet you once I'm done selecting it. So once we have created our selection, you want to go ahead and invert the selection. Let's go into Edit and click on Invert Selection. Now just go ahead and press the Delete key. So you only have the skin selected there and you only have that part uh, in the layer. Now go ahead and Command D to just deselect. Now if you, if you want, you can try and make the edges softer by just using the Eraser tool and just brushing uh, towards the edges just to have a more smooth edge, yeah, basically. So now all we have to do is change the layer blending mode to hard light. So let's go ahead and smoothen out the skin. Once again, go back to your background layer and duplicate it. Bring it all the way to the top. Now what you want to do is get the polygonal lasso tool once again. And you want to go ahead and select the skin and just repeat the same steps we uh, carried out before. Let's go ahead and make the selection one more time. So, again, repeat the steps. Go into Edit, 
go into invert selection and delete so you only have the skin now what you want to do is go ahead and command D and we want to apply a Gaussian blur to this so go into filter blur and Gaussian and click on OK so all we have to do now is just change the blending mode to multiply so we have this kind of effect so let's just add a bit more to this it looks fairly good but you want to have a bit more of a golden and shiny skin effect to this so what you want to do now is duplicate the current layer so just duplicate this one so you want to go ahead and change, change the blending mode this time to screen and try and reduce the opacity to about 45 to 40 percent and I'd like to just put mine to 40 percent now this is one of the last steps we're going to go ahead and create a new layer let's go ahead and click on the plus button and you have this an empty layer right there go ahead and change the blending mode to soft light and select the brush tool and try use a pretty soft brush and get the opacity between 20 to 40 percent essentially and get a black color and start to darken some of the key areas so the areas like the eyes and the cheeks whatever you feel is you know key and you want to highlight but for some of the photos you really you really wouldn't need to uh, mainly because there are already some dark areas around the eyes so once you have you know, finish adding some final touches with the brush. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the layer for just an increased effect. And lastly, you want to go ahead and apply a blending mode of overlay. So, as you can see, this is pretty cool. Uh, we have created a nice glowing effect. Um, just to make it a bit more realistic, you want to go ahead and just lower down the opacity to about, uh, you can say about 30%. So as you can see, we have created a very stunning golden skin effect. I hope you enjoyed this Pixel Mania tutorial. Feel free to add your own touches and changes to the image to create a truly unique image. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Cheers.